What's happened? So, a little bit more acting practice. I'm reading a scene from uh, the 1994 classic Clerks. It is a very important dramatic moment. Essentially, a little background information for where the scene is, because it's almost towards the end. Randall, this character, has been hanging out with his friend Dante all day at work, and he's done a string of things to annoy Dante, which I, you'll find out about through dialogue. But most importantly, he just went and told Dante's girlfriend that Dante didn't love her anymore, because Dante was kind of also trying to go after his ex without telling his girlfriend. So Dante was mad that Randall went behind his back to essentially ruin Dante's relationship with his girlfriend, saying... He doesn't love her anymore. And, and then from there, they get in a physical fight, and there's them sitting on the floor of the store afterwards. I'm not going to over-explain. Let's get into it. How's your eye? The swelling's not so bad, but the FDS stings. How's your neck? It's hard to swallow. You didn't have to choke me. Why the fuck did you tell Veronica I was going to dump her for Caitlin? I thought I was doing you a favor. Thanks. You were always saying you couldn't initiate change by yourself. So I figured I'd help you out. Jesus. You still didn't have to choke me. Oh, please. I'm surprised I didn't kill you. Why do you say that? Why do I say that? Randall! Forget it. No, really. What did I do that was so wrong? What don't you do? Sometimes it seems like the only reason you come in here is to make my life miserable. How do you figure? What time did you come to work today? Like, ten? Or ten after? You were over a half an hour late. Then all you do is come in here all day. To talk to you. Which means the video store is ostensibly closed. It's not like I'm miles away. Unless you're out running video at other video stores. Hermaphrodites. I rented it so we could watch it together. You give me slap with a fine. You annoy the customers, then I have to patch everything up. You get us kicked out of the funeral for by violating the corpse. Then to top it all off, you ruin my relationship. What's your encore? Do you, like, fuck my mother while pouring sugar in my gas tank? You know what the real tragedy about all this is? I'm not even supposed to be here today. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, pal. Jesus, there you go trying to pass the buck. I'm the source of all your misery. Who closed the store to play hockey? Who closed the store to go to a wake? Who tried to win back his ex-girlfriend without even discussing how he felt with his present one? You want to blame someone, blame yourself. I'm not even supposed to be here today. You sound like an asshole. Jesus, nobody twisted your arm to be here. You're here of your own volition. But you like to think the weight of the world rests on your shoulders. Like the store would fucking shut down if Dante wasn't here. Yeah, well, I got news for you. The store would survive without you and without me. And all you do is overcompensate for, for having what's basically a monkey's job. We push fucking buttons. Anyone could waltz in here and do our jobs. You know, that guy Jay's got it right, man. He has no delusions about what he does. Us? We like to make ourselves seem so much more important, so much better than the people that come in here. To buy paper, God forbid, cigarettes. We look down on them as if we're so advanced. Well, if we're so fucking advanced, what are we doing working here? 